How you guys doing? Welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. I'm John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy with Strawberry Slabs. That's right, we're going to do something fun. I've never tried it before and I think we can try our best to make it successful. And that is accomplishing one of the most unbelievable tasks here in hydroponic world which is bare root strawberries in grow slabs. That's right, that's where we start out with uh, a miniature rock wool cube. We're going to put a strawberry plant in it, then we're going to plant it in a bigger cube. We're going to let it root out, and then we're going to sit it atop a slab. And we're going to try to grow strawberries on slabs here on Indoor Hydroponics. But first, let me shave, and then I'll come back, and we'll start planting. There, that's better. Come on a little closer. Let's look at what we're going to be doing today. We've got six 4x4 four four cubes grow Dan, pre-soaked in 5.5 solution. No nutrient, just water and pH down. Also, one by one by one starter cubes, okay, to fill in the crevice. We also have some bare root strawberry plants, okay. These are tribute ever bears. And what did I do with them? Well, simple. I cut the roots uh, down to about one, between one and three inches, okay, and I did that on purpose because we want these to root in the block, all right, and so you don't want a whole lot of roots. I also cleaned up a lot of the old dead matter here now. I got my uh, bare root strawberries from um, Stark, Bro Stark Brothers, so look them up online type of thing. Uh, I don't endorse anyone, but they always send out good strawberry rooters type of thing, so here's another good one. We might want to See that? That's a little long. We might want to <laughs> like that. Now let me show you what I'm going to do. Alright, we're going to take one of these cubes and we're going to cut it in half. We are then going to sandwich this together like so but we want to make sure the crown is above the top here you don't want your crown to be all wet and then We plant. It's perfect. Let's fill the other six. Five. Let's fill the other five. All right. In a matter of a couple of minutes, I have these all planted out. Crowns are at the surface. New shoots are just starting to pop out. And we are going to leave these alone because we need these things to root all the way to the bottom. When the roots start coming out the bottom in these slats here, then we can start the transplant planting process and then we can start the feeding. But don't feed them yet. We want those roots to go down searching for food and water. Leave them under the lights. Six days from transplant doing absolutely nothing but letting them sit in the grow room under the lights. And here we are guys. That's pretty pretty doggone impressive what we got going on right here. Considering the fact that A, they're getting absolutely zero nutrition. Nothing at all. Just water. Remember, these rock will hold water like crazy, which makes the rooting process take quite a bit of time, okay? So I'm thinking at least 10 to 20 more days before I start to see any kind of roots here before we can do the transplant into the big slabs and set up a hydroponic system. But what I just wanted to quick show you was how fast these things grow, begin to put on vegetation. And remember, no nutrient, no feed, no nothing. All they're doing is just sucking up water, taking in light, and loving life right now, guys. So, hey, when these things get rooted to the bottom, and we're going to start the transplant process, and that deserves its own video because that's setting up a gross lab hydroponic recirculating system for an indoor grow. Wow. Guys, make sure you come back for that because this one's going to be a fun one. Take care as always. Love ya.
there. That's much better. I haven't been this happy or in a pig and shit. Let's take a look at what we 